What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the Kansas Angling Experience channel. It is a absolutely unseasonably warm Monday afternoon out here in Kansas land. You can definitely tell that it's 72 degrees outside because I have my beautiful fiance Danny in the boat with me just enjoying a Monday off together. Just like I said in my last video, unfortunately for this one, I don't really have anything planned. Danny can attest that I've been sitting here in the boat for the last hour, rigging up the cameras and trying to figure out what besides catching a metric ton of crappies we were actually gonna film today. And because I really can't figure that out, uh, we're just gonna go fishing. So I've got several, I don't know, probably like dozen brush piles between here and where we're at and down there. But either way, we're just gonna go over the same things. We're kind of at the tail end of this winter crappie bite. The water temperature right now is 38 degrees. That 38 degree higher water temp is not gonna last because like I said, this whole next four to seven days are gonna be uh, in the 20s. So the water temp is gonna drop a little bit, not enough to make the lake freeze, but it is gonna kind of mess things up. But either way, by then it'll probably be first, second week of March, and then hopefully I'll be catching wipers. So that's enough talking for now we're gonna get over the spot i'm gonna show you guys what we're fishing uh get a couple different camera angles rigged up i'm not gonna wear one on my chest or on my hat this time we're gonna rig up the tripod in the front of the boat really today is just all about having fun it's kind of a celebratory video because i think and i hope uh by the time you guys see this video we will have hit 20,000 subscribers i know i said that in my last video so if you're seeing this and you see me at 20,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for always supporting the channel and liking the videos commenting on the videos, sharing the videos. So yeah, we're just celebrating. We've got crispy drinks. Uh, we've got beautiful weather and lots of really dumb and aggressive crappies. So let's get after them. All right, so we're up here in the front of the boat. I've got everything rigged up and ready to go. So we're just gonna slide back over to this tree. Right here, I've got our map up. I mean, I fished this the spot probably exactly a thousand times there on the live scope screen you guys can see all those fish right there we've got a big group of fish right there actually looks really really good definitely not the same ones that i just poked at initially so let's get some baits down there we may i don't know if the wind's not that bad we may just stay right here i grow the baits Right down there, here the come the fish. Instant. Ooh, he's small and I'm gonna let it go. Yeah, now, now these fish are not looking super big. That one looks good, got him too. That's a good one. Not really. He shrunk about two inches on the way up. Yeah. Hmm, saw that one, wanted to catch him. And that's a dandy, just a dandy. He smoked that white and purple 2.5 inch stinger from Swing Him In Baits. Smoked it, not keeping any fish though. Nancy and I are having pizza tonight. Fish of all sizes, takes all kinds. Unfortunately, I think over here, there's just too many small ones. We'll catch a few more. And I think we're gonna go look for some bigger ones elsewhere. This one's pretty much a lot of small fish so far. Nancy, I think we did it. I think we finally found some bigger fish. I have been bouncing around the river channel, trying to find something besides 10 inchers, which well, for any other video would probably be fun and good and obviously fun live scope footage but I'm trying to find bigger fish now and i think we finally found some here's our first one. Oh god would you just look at that it's the same size fish <laughs> danny's trying really hard not to laugh at me because i'm starting to lose my freaking mind There we go, babe. 
If that's not a white bass, it's a big crappie. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, guys. Well, uh, I don't know how much of this I'm going to put in the video, but we've been bouncing around the river channel trying to find some bigger fish, and I've found massive groups of 10 to 11 inches, but not really looking for those. So we finally found a little bit better quality on some brush piles that I found yesterday. And I think that I know what to do. So hopefully we will not be plagued by the small fish because although a video with extremely aggressive 10 inchers might be fun to watch, I don't really want to do another one of those like I did in my last video. So hopefully on these couple brush piles over here, we can get some better quality fish. There's another one. That one feels smaller. He is definitely smaller. I shouldn't have said a single thing <laughs> because it's a small one. But anyway, we finally are tucked out of the wind also because out on the river channel, the wind would be fine if I was guiding. Um, but seeing as how I'm not, I'm trying to make a stupid YouTube video. We got to stay out of it. So now it's really nice and uh, we'll just see what happens. Kind of trying to focus on the outside of the tree. I don't know if you get, hopefully you guys can see all those fish that are packed down tight to bottom right there. Um, they're close to the tree, they're not super inside of it. I obviously don't want to get snagged, but we'll just sink those jigs right in there and see if we can get one to cooperate. That's playing with fire a little bit too much. Just pitch it out here to the to the side and let those jigs swing down. Hopefully get an instant response so we don't have to bring it through the tree. Landed right on a nice one right there. Anybody, here he comes. Here comes the giant and I got him. I got the big one. That's a big one. Yep. All right, we figured it out. I no longer have to show Danny where all the small fish live. Much better. Much better. Mo Gooda. Not keeping any. Letting all these big mamas go. So I'll try and catch some more here. May have to slide over. I've got like three or four brush piles kind of sprinkled around right here. So we'll just see what happens. But these fish that are on the outside edge of the tree seem to be a little bit bigger than the ones that are in the tree. And I'm already snagged. Yep. Mm-hmm. Dropped down into the tree. Another better quality. I'm still getting a little impatient. We still have at least an hour and a half of daylight left. But I'm getting impatient. Keeper. Better one. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, wow. Yeah. Uh, that's more the size we're looking for right there. Ooh, boy. That one was not going anywhere ever. That's in the teens. Nance, approval? Yep. Yeah. That's not a small one. <laughs> Hopefully there's a few more. We may have to bounce around to a few more trees because like I said, I mean, I could catch 50 fish and put it in one video, but they don't all look like that. Um, and in with great rapidity, I could do so, but that's not what we're trying to do today. So pretty happy with that one. White and chartreuse, uh, two and a half inch flap tail. We've got a June bug and chartreuse stinger tail on there too. That was a good one. Pretty excited about that. So let's see if we can maybe find a few more. Mm. 
a sneaky boy. Just slid over another, I don't know, 15 or 20 feet to another brush pile. Sneaky one right there. I don't know. I don't even think I was paying attention. I heard a motorcycle and looked up and I didn't really see him bite. Hopefully you guys did. Oh my god, that fish missed it. Come back, come back. Here he comes. Top jig, got him. Oh, that was epic. Not even that big, but that was a pretty cool live scopey. I'll probably still put in the video because he was out of his mind. He was so aggressive that he missed it the first time and then he came back. He missed the first jig and then he came back and he ate the second jig. Buck wild. Here we go, we found the magic tree, finally. I don't even know how much of this video you guys are gonna see because there's way too many fish, but just trying to put the better ones in there. Better quality and we found them. My wife is no longer disappointed in me. <laughs> Oh, come and get it. That's a big one. Oh, his buddies are going to steal it from him. Big one, take it. Got him. I got the big one. It's big. Yep, that's a giant. Exactly the one that we wanted. I picked her out, been switching colors, and then I caught her. That's the split body uh, slab stinger from Swing em In Baits, the purple and chartreuse 13 incher maybe, potentially. Really nice one. Yeah, that was a big one. When they make that sound, that was, that means they're big. Mmm, you sneaky girl. You wanna bite it again? How about your, how about your girlfriend? Fish on the bottom? No? Oh, look at that one racing. Racing. Oh, racing. Big fish, big fish. Eat it, eat it. Yes. Not as big, but still a better fish. That was fun. Did you get to see that one? That was fun. That was a cool, cool bite. It is just a beautiful little evening out here, honey. You betcha. Got it. Nice. Seems like they're starting to fire up a little bit better. Maybe they just were taking a nap. Again. Yeah. Well, maybe the big ones were taking a nap because we were just catching baby little eaters. But now we're on the big, bigger fish program. Mm-hmm. Bet. You betcha. Barely skin hooked. Look, you want to see the dumbest way to hold a crappie? I know another guy in the state that holds all of his crappies like this. You can go find his YouTube channel. Just moving around. Oh yeah, look at that one. <laughs> Can you tell me how you know if you have the correct color? Because I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that from what I've heard from other people's videos is when they eat it like this, that's when you know that they wanted it. 
Can't even see it. I was just starting to move around and I was like, yeah, maybe we should go fish this one last brush pile now that the wind stopped blowing over yonder way. But I don't know. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. In the meantime, there's no way I can get this out without a pliers uh -oh. Quick drink, nice teener fish there. Great one, get her back. Should be just fine. All those big ones are kind of, they're big ones right there. Look, there's a big one right at the top of the tree and I'm gonna put it right in his face and then he's gonna eat it. He's just loafing. See him just loafing? Oh, he's starting to get fired up. Here he comes. I got him. <laughs> Called my shot and it's a giant. <laughs> That was pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, same thing too. I'm pretty sure we just hit the witching hour um, because the last two big ones that I've caught have just absolutely walloped the bait like that. I like that word. Walloped? Yeah. I have words, I have the best words. Yep, that's what we're looking for right there. Freaking dandy. All right, going back, it's so funny. I keep talking, I'm like, man, I just wanna like go like maybe, I don't know, 100 yards over that way and fish this other brush pile. But every time I look down, there's another big one. Going back. Turn around, chase it, chase it, coming, coming. Got her. Oh, dude, we are on him now. On him. All it took was a lot of moving around, fishing through a lot of fish, finding the quality. Quality. Look, honey, you can't stand it. Oh, he missed it. Watch. He'll come back. Top jig, got her. Couldn't stand it, couldn't freaking stand it. All right, we're gonna catch one more big one cause this one is not a big one and then we're gonna go. Ooh, but there's one that's like right. No, go away, go away, look at it. <laughs> it's got a friend that's like, Steve, where are you going? Ooh, that's a big one though. Let's catch it. Oh, she saw it. Here she comes. Got her. That was freaking awesome. Not a giant, but a good one to end on. I could sit here and catch these fish like this all night long. It's about five o'clock, been out here. Not grinding. If somebody was coming out here to catch like 20, 10 inchers uh, for dinner, that would be fine. But we ground out trying to locate the bigger fish. And thankfully, obviously, as you guys can see, the wind has completely died down. So it's absolutely been an amazing afternoon. Just real quick to recap baits and stuff. This is not news for anybody that watches the channel, but we're rocking the double jig rig, two eighth ounce, Jigs here, Cliff Bam with Bam's Jig Company provides me with these. These are eighth ounce jigs with a two odd sickle hook. Two and a half inch slab slingers. That's a June bug color that Jeremy doesn't quite have available for sale just yet. And then obviously the split body part purple and chartreuse. 15 pound PC Fun Onyx Braid. 6'6 medium light Fox River rod and a 1000 size Viper X PC Fun reel. Unfortunately, Fox River is sold out of the 6'6 medium lights, but I would definitely recommend getting the 7'3 medium light. That's my next favorite. So yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you once again for the continued support. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment down below with any questions or concerns, gripes or obscenities, and I will see you guys on the next video.